Hi, this is Alex Stafford, and I'm here with the Rave TV, and I'm sitting down with one of my favorite singers, Dez from Devil Driver, Cold Chamber, just an awesome vocalist, man. Thanks Thank for having me, man. Dude, thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. We're rocking the shades for this. It's it's a bright, sunny day even indoors, you know? <laughs> Actually, it is beautiful here, man. Most of the time when we're here, it's just uh, snowy and cold, but today is killer everybody's <laughs> hanging out by the buses and by the trailers and uh working out and it's cool it's a good day. yeah i saw some of the guys out there lifting some weights when yeah. i pulled in yeah. so you it's got, cool to pull up and have a nice day here man nice you gotta weather. keep you know fit on the road yeah most definitely absolutely do you do you like touring summer more than winter though i like touring period just I, in general I love, I love winter touring i love summer touring i mean i, I uh i enjoy touring so it's cool to be on the road and you know, continuously see new things Absolutely, absolutely. Every day is a different, uh, different adventure. Yeah, if you will, and especially when you come through with different packages. Like right now, we're out with like six bands. So a phenomenal package. I mean, yeah. yes, that's there's always great. something cool to watch, and and people out hanging out, and people to hang out with. So it's it's been a really fun time. Now, I mean, with Devil Driver alone, you guys have been, con in my eyes, you're one of the most continuous uh, metal bands. You've been here for the first time you guys played here was with Superjoint back in 2003, and you have been here several times, and regularly you're releasing albums that are just spot on. Everyone has just bumped up to the next level and has still managed to just be awesome all appreciate, around. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. Um, Were you here for that Superjoint? I was. Yeah, that was our first tour. That was cutting our teeth, man, going out with going out with that band going out with phil and hank on the road yeah, man yeah but yeah we've we have been here a lot man and thanks thanks for talking about the records as well we try to release a record every two two and a half years and uh you know i think if you make people wait longer than that it's it's it there has to be a good reason yeah you know what i mean and we, we're very pro proficient and, and prolific we've been writing a lot and uh so we tend to get music out in a timely manner but yeah, I mean, Winter Kills, that was uh, one of my favorite albums of last year. I Thank you very much. Now, we just had um, uh, Lacuna <coughs> Coil in here a couple weeks ago. Great friends of ours. Dude, they're awesome. Yeah. We got on the topic of unlikely covers. Mm. And on your new album, uh, for those of you who don't know, there's a cover of Sale, AWOL Nations, right. which is very unlikely, yet it's totally amazing for... It just goes in the complete opposite direction than the right, original. Right. How did that of all songs come up? Well, I mean, Devil Driver's done a lot of covers, man. And once yeah. you do like, you know, Metallica and Iron Maiden, you do you do all those bands. You're like, you want to do something current. You want to do something different. And uh, on the last record, we did uh, Black Soul Choir, you know, by 16 Horsepower. And I think that, okay, doing something completely off the cuff like that, I mean, they're almost like bluegrass type band country bluegrass type band we want to do something different and um i was listening to the song with my kids and i suffer from add adhd yeah, my, me my, too. <laughs> my whole life and i was on uh, ritalin for you know 12 13 years of my life and a ho horrible drug but still that disease is in me so when i heard uh, blame it on my add i went what is this yeah, and then the, you relate and then, to it. Then immediately, yeah, immediately relate to it. And then the the uh, chorus sale was like, well, I've been on the road for almost twenty years, so it made sense to me, you know. And then when I got the guy's version of it, because we kind of demoed it at first, when I got the version, I went, hands down, this is going to be this going to be a really good time to do. So glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, when I was listening to the first time, I didn't know that you had that song on there, and I started hearing the melodies, and I'm like, wait, you know. This can't be it. And then once you started yeah. seeing the, the lyrics, I was just like, wow, that was, so that was. A phenomenal. lot of people were really surprised with that song, but it's, it's, uh, it's really taken hold and it's helped us climb the charge. I mean, our, our, our six record is, is debuted higher than any other record we've done. And, you know, we're really pleased. You what know, did that, it debut that, that, at? Number 32. Very nice. So, I mean, Congratulations. To be on the top 200 with anything that's not, with something that's not radio built. You know, and our first single was not sale either. So, yeah. See, yeah. I was just talking uh, with um, Ben from Whitechapel, and their new album debuted really well. On the really new... high for them, yeah. And, I mean, you don't see that from metal bands these days. No, and Whitechapel, great band and great at what they do. And out of out of this scene that's going on, I think there's only going to be maybe a few bands that are going to survive it, because it, that's what happens with every scene. I, Whitechapel's definitely going to be one of those bands that's going to come out on top. They're great guys. And uh, they got a they got a great thing going on, but yeah, they did beat very high too. So I mean, you guys are on the top right now. You guys are going on over a decade now with Devil Driver, and yeah, true. So, and then now was it the year before last? 
you also decided to get uh, Cole Chamber back together. Yeah. Is there is it hard to kind of balance you know future and past and all of that together? Well, we were on downtime at the, at the moment, you know, with Devil Driver, and it's one of those things where you rarely have time in life to make amends with people or bands or things that fall apart yeah. and uh, I did and we did and over a period of years and years we made amends <laughs> very slowly <clears throat> and to the point where you know Meigs in Pasadena came up and played Loco with Devil Driver years ago and that's on YouTube you can you can see that and from that point on it was like well I really want to revisit this and um, when is the timing right and the timing was just right recently and we took it around the world debuted that thing out in Australia in front of 70,000 people singing every word and took it all through Europe, to, went all through the States with Seven Dust, our good friend Seven Dust. Yeah, you guys came on here with that. And those shows were like sold out almost every day. And it was just, um, it just felt right. And I had a great time doing it. And uh, there's going to be definitely some more in the future because of it, because it was such a good time. And because the response from the fans was was there, you know. And really, if you look back to, or, or you look right now at the bands that are, big and really doing their thing they're all the bands from that genre yeah that are that are just that have maximized over the years and and really stayed stayed high in their marks you know so uh, i'm glad to bring cold chamber back and do what we did and we'll see what the future holds you know and you know i was a really big cold chamber fan when it came out when i was young it was one of the first metal bands that really attracted me to it cool. and i missed i kind of missed the first touring you know eras of it so when you came around last time, you know, I was insanely excited. And I remember right, talking. You were too young when we were out with like Pantera and Black <sighs> Sabbath. and. Man, I love Pantera, <laughs> but that's just one of the bands I, I just missed out on seeing them live. Right. But right. Cold Chamber, I was telling a, a, a friend that when we saw you live, it was kind of like it was kind of like wine. It really improved over the years because it was just kind of it, my expectations were just blown away. Very cool, man. And I think, you know. A lot of things ended that band, you know, every cliche thing imaginable from drugs and money to women living on the bus with us constantly to everything. It just went sour. And to bring it back and then have people just come out for it uh, yeah. was unbelievable. And it was, it was a very humbling moment, man. So I'm glad you got to see it. And there's a lot of people that feel that way. <clears throat> they were either too young or they missed it. Uh, they grew up on it, but they never got to see it live. And those those are the people that we want to get out and play for for sure when it comes to Cold Chamber. And you know the fans that you know went over ten years without seeing it. You know they're anxious for it again. So and there's a lot of them, man. I mean, it was unbelievable when we went to South America. It was like everybody was 15 and 16 years old that was out in line. I couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. It wasn't like you know, you know, hey, uh, you know, I saw you guys when I was 28, and now you know I'm seeing you now as an older person. It was like all kids. So which made me think we really struck a chord with people and. Um, it's very humbling for us to take around the world. We'll see what happens in the future. We'll see. Well, I mean, regardless of coal chamber or devil driver, you are definitely one of the hardest working men in metal. And I salute you. Gotta you got to enjoy what you do, man. If you didn't enjoy it, you wouldn't do it. You it's know? true, man. It's true. But, you know, with continuously being so busy, do you have any hobbies on, you know, the downtime that kind of completely opposite of music? I mean, when I'm at home, I, I, I hang out with my kids and yeah. my wife and my dogs. I got a great Dana Doberman, and I'm real normal at home, you know. Her and I go and throw pottery together, and uh, yeah. <laughs> like I do, you know, I go. I just try to get as much away from this life as I can when I'm home and, and get grounded because we do tour so much, especially in Devil Driver. I mean, we've logged more road miles in the last five years than any band on the planet. Yeah, that's and what I was saying. I mean, you guys have been going strong for over a decade. Yeah. Summer tour, winter tour. I mean, Napalm, Death, Guar. I mean, countless times you have come through. Right, right. And I, we, Like I said, we enjoy what we do, Yeah. but you also have to back up a record. And, and so when you put out a record like we do every two, two and a half years, it's like, got to get out, got to tour, got to get out on the record. That being said, <clears throat> after this tour, uh, we're taking the first summer that we've had off in 10 years. So I've never had July and August and September off, you know, probably 10 to 12 years. So we're taking that time off. and uh, You're going gonna to take a vacation? I, I am going to surf, man. You're going to surf? <laughs> I'm from California. So oh, yeah? Me and my kids, we're going to surf. And, and, and these guys are writing as well, so yeah. they're going to go in the studio and demo some new stuff. And, uh, you know, just take some time off, try to be human. You know? <laughs> well, Des... I got to admit, dude, it's been an absolute blast to sit down and talk with you. And Thanks, man. thank you for continuously coming to the rave and giving all the other metal bands out there a run for their money. And Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Great to meet you. This venue is one of my favorites. Yeah. 
So I mean, from, from the from the very beginning, you know, I saw the metamorphosis of like the backstage start turning into what it was, and all the other rooms starting to get really vibed out. And like this, this is definitely a club that other people should come take a look at if you want to see how to do your decor and how to make people feel, you know, welcome. So, do you remember the first time you played here? Uh, well, it was with Cold Chamber for sure, and I think it was in. Um, I mean, I want to say 95, 96, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's awesome. Well, as I was saying, thank you for coming back and thank you for sitting down with us. This is Dez from Devil Driver and Cold Chamber. You can see them play tonight. It's going to be a killer show, and I'm sure you'll be back again. We love having you. Thanks for having us, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> we will see you next time on the Rave TV.